Hello there, my YouTube family and friends. This is Jackie from Jackie's Faith Journey. I'm coming here live and direct to just give you what my day was like. Well, it's my day of worship, so I went to church. And that's my lifeline right there. To gather my strength and get my courage to fight for another day. I went to the house of God, me and my husband, and it was a wonderful service. It was so good. I, I just sat and saturated myself in every word. From worship to the preaching of the word, everything was so well done. And I'm telling you, hearts were blessed. And I joined in right there with the rest of them. To sing the praises unto the Lord. Say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. There is no other way to go but to trust him with everything. Trust him for your everything. And tonight as I sit to just talk about whatever happened today. Look, as no matter what I'm going through, no matter what my body is facing and uh, the situations that arrive from, uh, like you call it, uh, you call it, after effects or whatever you call it, um, I'm still faced with those things and those are challenges that I must have to go through. There's no way out of it, I have to go through it. And so I just keep on doing all the rubs I can, all the stretches I can, and the walking around that I can, everything done to moderation. And I am surviving. Yes, when I have to take two painkillers, I do. When I have to drink some tea, I do. And um, I just keep up with it. Um, my appetite is not at its best, but it has been better. And I can live with that, at least. And so, um, just last week, I've changed my nausea medication. And I got the one that I was getting before. And it is doing me much better than the one that I was taking when I was getting radiation treatment, because I was still nauseated. No matter what I do. And then that causes me not to want to eat anything. It makes me feel even sicker than I feel that I want. That I want expect. And, and it wasn't a nice feeling. So that I noticed that was pushing my appetite away. I didn't want to see the food. I don't want to smell the food. And I don't want to eat it either. Now I'm doing a little better. And I do eat what I like because that helps in a big way and you know keeping just keeping um things steadily going steadily and and I can also live with that so that's good news towards my fellow listeners and supporters I am doing good by the grace of God because of all the prayers and all my well wishes, wishing um, news that you have sent my way, um, the views that you have sent my way, they help me. Um, um, I feel good about you know whatever um, you send on my page, and I read them. And sometimes I don't get to read them because I'm not focused, you know. Um, sometimes and so I really don't open the page as often as I should but uh, just know that I do appreciate every spoken word of encouragement that comes my way towards me and my family I bless you I thank you and just keep them coming keep them coming the girl is still uh, not independent of your prayers and your good words okay but I can tell you on my side, I keep it going and keep myself 
um, up, up, uplifted by, by watching I watch gospel channels all day long I do watch a little bit because I love chip and all those kind of things uh, um, it's the, those black policemen um, you call it Harry Patrol I still watch my TV uh, so I'm not just sitting here looking at the walls of course not and uh, <laughs> and so I entertain myself and do it nice and in a good fashion of course if you're a child of God you have to still be careful of what you venture into so yes I do that's so why I sit on the couch and be a couch potato. Yes, I do watch some TV and I do I meditate and do watch a lot of gospel, singing songs, playing tunes. I would love to play tunes and he's always preaching every morning. So I get myself doctrinated and fully clothed in the righteousness. And so I thank God for all of the first that, oh God, he can do so much. And I'm telling you, I know that I press on him so much for everything. But just know that God is helping. God is walking with us and walking us through this situation. And they said everything give thanks. Yes. We give him praise and thanks in good times, in bad times. Not only when everything is going good. A matter of fact, do you know that sowing your seed of kindness and love and giving him praise and thanks is a good thing to do? Because there comes a time when you can concentrate. There comes a time when you are so out of it and out of sorts that you can't even pray the right way. You know, and so that's why when that's why i say call upon you when you are strong young men but not only the men all of us that he call uh he call us for a purpose and so we need to keep ourselves uplifted in spirit and praise god for every waking moment that he gives you on the land of the living because promises of tomorrow is not made to us and last sunday we uh my husband and myself went on a prayer line and there was this pastor and she was sick and of course they pray they asked for a special prayer for her and the sunday she was there and she was in root i mean good on everything I mean, on praising, praise wise and stuff. And by the praying her through. And the next thing you know, we got up on Monday morning to hear that she went home. She went on to glory. She was prepared and ready to go. And I remember that this thing, it don't give you no... I mean, you know that something is existing and so you ask the Savior to help you comfort, strengthen and keep you and yet still when it comes, it still hits you like a ton of bricks. But we know not the hour nor the minute. That's why we have to prepare ourselves because we have to allow him to walk us through in this land it says as i journey through this pilgrim land there is a friend who walks with me this is my plea dear lord i will do the best i can i need your light to guide me day and night blessed jesus hold my hand Jesus, hold my hand. I need you every hour through this pilgrim land. Protect me by that, by thy power. Hear my plea, my feeble plea, Lord. Oh, Lord, look down on me. When I kneel in prayer and I hope to meet you there, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. I can only encourage 
that one out there that don't know the Lord for themselves. Because if I didn't know him, I would be more stressed out, more despondent, more sad, more under the bridge. But because I love him so, and I've been serving him for years, I know that he's never failed me yet. Then here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my guide. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, and altogether wonderful to me. I would like for you out there, if it's even one person that this word can encourage, and I pray that God will richly bless you. As you continue to listen to my channel, love, like, share, and subscribe. As always, only what we do for Christ will last. Have a wonderful evening until we meet again. Bye-bye.